I get asked a lot why I decided to build a silver liner in eastern Kentucky. My answer is simple. This is the best place to build it. First of all, this is my home. My family has been in business here for three generations. There is nowhere else that I can think that I would rather live and raise my children. Then there is a workforce. Over the last 20 years, I have done business over 14 states, worked with many major corporations, employed people in many places, and seen many different workforces. Without exception, the best of those are right here in Eastern Kentucky. Our workers here are second to none. They are skilled in many areas, loyal, hardworking, production oriented, and willing to go the extra mile. For me, there was no question of where I was going to build this business. From the beginning, I have said that Silver Liner will build the best trucks with the best people, and Eastern Kentucky is where we will do that. We received over 3,000 applications for our first 75 job openings. We began the interviewing process and we began our welding test in March of this year. From that process, we sent our first group to be trained in March on a, a very grueling, tough program. It was 12 weeks long. Big Sandy Technical School and Hazard Community Technical. I am proud to say that in June that we have graduating two classes and we have already begun two more classes also at the Paintsville campus for Big Sandy and one in Hazard at the Community Technical. We saw 23 people receive certification in advanced aluminum welding. Most of these men worked other jobs spoke to several, they would get up at 3 a.m., they would go and work 10, 12 hours, they would be back in their class uh, training. We started classes at 5, they run to 9, 10 o'clock at night. We've done this in the evening because I know what kind of people live here and I know how our workers are. They're going to continue their jobs and they needed something afterwards. To explain to you how hard this is and how tough these gentlemen are, the average weight loss was 22 pounds. So it's not easy. The labs are very hot. They have to well wear protective gear and a lot of hard work. I couldn't be more happier with the outcome. One more note. To prove with a lot of the videos that you all have seen here today, Unite and the House, many others, out of the 300 assessments, two people, that is all, just two, did not pass the pre-employment drug screen. There is success in Eastern Kentucky on that alone. The outpouring of support for Silver Liner has been truly overwhelming and humbling for me and my family. We have had so many people that have helped us, reached out with anything that they can do, and there's no way I could possibly name them all, but however, there are some that I would like to acknowledge. Jeff Whitehead and the staff at EKSEP have been instrumental. The first day after the announcement, in the first week, Trish Adams walked into my office and said, you need me, you have to have me. I didn't know that. I thought she was not right, but she was right. <laughs> her and her staff are second to none. Anyone in our region, anyone looking to come to our region, that should be one of your first phone calls. Everyone at Hazard Technical College has been absolutely tremendous. Randy Bowling, I think there's a lot of gentlemen standing back and say he will turn you into one fine individual. He will work with you and stay as late and come as early as you want. A lot of those gentlemen came at 1 o'clock in the day and stayed till 9, 10 o'clock at night. Scott Lankis, Big Sandy Technical College, the same. 
superior person, put a lot of extra time in to make these guys develop the skills that they needed. City of Pipeville, what can I say? Uh, first people I spoke to, first people go to bat for me, they have been there from the beginning 110% helping me with this project. Mayor Carter, the commissioners, Bob Shirtliff, Pat McNamee, Kim Downing, Steve Hartsock, Sean Cochran, thank you. Secretary Snavely, thank you and your staff for seeing the potential growth and jobs creations in the reclaimed mine sites. Congressman Rogers, uh, owe my life to you, as well as everyone else in Eastern Kentucky. Your dedication to our region and your commitment to do everything that you do for Eastern Kentucky. This is only one of your projects. Can't thank you enough. The people of Eastern Kentucky are grateful for, you, for your many years of service. Governor Bevins, thank you for your support, you and your administration. I know that you believe in the real, real you, <laughs> revitalization in Eastern Kentucky is a key to our great Commonwealth being competitive on a world stage. I know you joke about not having a favorite region uh, in the state, but I think we know better. <laughs> I could not have done this full support of my family, my wife, a wonderful mother, and my children, Cash and Emma, and a great business partner as well as all the team at Silver Liner. I want to personally thank you. We have very few people. We're growing every day. We're in small, tight accommodations uh, for the amount of people that we have, and they do a whole lot of work for such a, a great few. Thank you, everyone.